everybody i'm shay and welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for tuning in today today we're going to be talking about medical prefixes beginning with the letter a and please keep in mind while watching this video that anatomical and medical prefixes both go hand in hand um please like comment share subscribe and donate and let's jump right into it so an a or an prefix is going to mean lacking or without an example of this is going to be anemia Amia means the capacity or ability of blood to carry oxygen, but this a in prefix in front of amia is going to signify that there is a lacking ability of blood to carry oxygen. Whenever you see a prefix beginning with a b, that means a way. And an example of this is going to be abduction. Duction means to conduct, a b means a way, so this word means to conduct a way. Whenever you see a prefix beginning with a d, that means to ward, and an example of this is going to be adduction. Duction means to conduct, AD means to ward, so this word means to conduct to ward. AF is also a prefix that means to ward. For an example, afferent neurons. The word ferrin actually comes from the Latin word efferens, which means to carry. And this AF prefix is going to let us know that these afferent neurons are going to conduct toward something. Afferent neurons conduct information toward the central nervous system. Anti means against. And an example of this is going to be anticoagulant. Coagulants are going to be factors that cause blood to solidate. And anti means it's going to work against blood solidation. Now, as you can see, I have a picture of blood thinners up here as an example of an anticoagulant. But don't get me wrong. Our body actually can produce anticoagulants on its own. We produce anticoagulants in our endothelial cells and we produce them in our hepatocytes. However, patients with blood clotting disorders are usually prescribed medications such as heparin and warfarin. Now there are plenty of other anticoagulant medications, but these two happen to be the most popular. The only difference is warfarin is taken orally while heparin is going to be injected in the patient. And our last prefix for this video is going to be auto, which means self. And an example of this prefix is going to be autoimmune disorder. Autoimmune disorder is going to be a disease where our immune cells attack our self cells and tissues. And if you look over here at this picture on the right, there are just a few examples of the different types of autoimmune diseases a person can have. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and donate. Until next time, peace!